done so many gaming laptop reviews on the channel and lately I've been getting some comments from you people asking like Vimal bhai can you cover some affordable category 40 series laptop and guess what that is what I'll be doing in this video. Today in the house we have one of the most affordable RTX 40 series gaming laptop from MSI. It's their all new MSI Thin GF63 and it actually packs like pretty interesting specs and features on paper. First thing is you're getting like a 1080p 144Hz IPS level display pair that with up to Intel's 12th gen i7 CPU and also RTX 4050 6GB edition GPU on board guys. So this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out and pricing of this laptop starts at only around 77,990 rupees in the Indian market. Let's get started. So our brand new MSI Thin GF63 40 series laptop came in this sort of box packaging. Cool looking box, looks like they've updated the design compared to last gen. You have a big MSI Dragon logo on the front and lots of details about the model. Let me give you a closer look and talk about the specs and configuration of our variant. As I've told you, it's available in like multiple variants. Today in the house, we have the i7 edition. On board, you're getting a 15.6 inches 1080p, 144Hz IPS level display. And talking about the CPU, you're getting Intel's 12th gen i7 1260. 650H which is a 10 core 16 thread CPU pair that with RTX 4050 with 6 gigs of GDDR6 memory. You are getting 16 GB DDR4 RAM paired with 512 GB of PCI Gen 3 SSD. Apart from this you also have a 12th gen i5 model also available in the market. And as soon as you open the box packaging, they go boys our brand new MSI laptop. It's only available in black color guys and boys here's our very first look at the laptop. Oh wow. Look at the whole brushed metallic finish on the top lid. We'll get into the laptop in a moment. Keeping that aside, you also have some accessories which include a user manual, a 120 watt slim power adapter for charging and a mains cord for the adapter. So that was our quick unboxing part. Now let me give you like a closer look at the laptop and first of all talk about the design and build quality. MSI's thin GF63 has a very premium look and feel for the price that you're paying. The body has like a nice brushed metallic sort of feel, especially on the top lid and the keyboard cover as well. And if you ask about the build quality, build quality of the laptop is also like pretty solid I would say. It's like a mix between metal and plastic. This top lid cover that you're seeing is actually metallic and even the keyboard cover where you actually place your your palm right even that has a metallic sort of finish very clean design i would say there is nothing on the top lid over here just the msi dragon logo at the center and there is no rgb lighting as well because this is like an entry level laptop right i do have to mention it does attract a bit of fingerprint especially on the top lid so you might have to keep cleaning it once in a while apart from that talking about the dimensions now as the name suggests laptop is actually a bit thinner and also a bit lightweight compared to your average looking laptop if you talk about the thickness right it's only around 0.85 inches inches less than one inch and the weight of the laptop is also like pretty reasonable only around like 1.86 kgs so quite compact portable you can easily throw it in your backpack and take it anywhere on the go so before i open it and get on to the interiors let me give you like a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on this model starting off from the left side here you can check out a big exhaust vent followed by a dc in port this is where you'll need to plug in your adapter for charging and you also have like a usb 3.2 gen 1 type a port available and this must be your charging indicator guys moving on to the front part there is nothing much over here very clean and good looking design and on the other side you have all the other remaining ports you have two 3.5 mm ports one is for your headphones and the other one is for a microphone followed by two more usb 3.2 gen 1 type a ports and this time you're getting an upgraded usb 3.2 type c port so compared to the last gen right this one even can be used as a dp port and even supports msi's matrix display technology followed by our RJ45 Ethernet connector is there and lastly a Kensington lock. And going to the back profile, there's only one HDMI port available guys so you can even connect external displays up to 4K 30Hz. So that's it, these are all the available connectivity ports on the MSI Thin GF63. And there you go, here's how the bottom profile of the laptop looks like. It has a very unique X pattern design for an efficient cooling system. It's powered by their cooler boost technology. We'll talk about the thermals and cooling part while we discuss about the performance. Any Anyways, here you go, you can check out lots of vents are there over here for like air circulation and you know to let the heat escape and stuff like that. There are rubber foot pads on all the corners and if you can actually observe right, rubber foot pads have a nice elevated distance over here for decent amount of airflow. And that is pretty much it. As you can see this bottom panel is entirely made of like polycarbonate material. And if you ask about the upgradability part, I've told you right, on board you are getting like 18 to 2, 16 GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3200 MHz. This can be expanded up to 
64 GB. Very easily open up the back panel and upgrade the memory. And if you talk about the storage part, on board you are getting like 512 GB of PCI Gen 3 SSD plus a 2.5 SATA slot is also there. So yes, storage is also expandable. So that's it, our complete overview on the exteriors. Now let me quickly open up the laptop and talk about the display, keyboard and all of that. So boys, here's how the MSI Thin GF63 12th Gen Edition looks like. Look at the whole sporty vibe over here with those red accents on the keyboard. Anyways, first of all, let me tell you about the display and upper half section. You have the MSI logo on the bottom side and talking about the display, it comes with a 15.6 inches full HD 1080p, 144Hz refresh rate with an IPS level panel on board. If you talk about the bezels, bezels are quite thin on the left and right, but at the top and bottom, you do have a bit of thick bezels. On the bottom, have the MSI logo and going to the top here you have a 720p HD webcam so that was mostly about the upper half section and going to the lower half section here's how it looks like I've told you right this entire keyboard cover has a brushed metallic sort of finish and looks quite premium for the price that you're actually paying also I kind of like this minute minute details MSI has given attention to for example that power button over there guys has a completely different integrated sort of design and look at those red accents on the keyboard they're actually painted red on the sides so even if the backlighting is turned off right you do get that RGB lighting sort of feel you're getting a full size red LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is nice I've been using it for the last couple of days and felt quite comfortable everything was easily accessible and quality of the keys and key caps is also pretty good I would say they felt tactile and clicky and as I've told you it only has like single color backlighting which is your red and you can only adjust the brightness using MSI center Coming over to the touchpad, it's a reasonably sized touchpad I'd say and quality of the touchpad is nice. They're using like a premium glass covered touchpad and it was easily recognizing all my inputs and gestures, didn't face any sorts of dead zones also anywhere and quality of the integrated buttons were also nice. So that was our complete overview on the exteriors and interiors. Keeping that aside, now let's jump on to the main aspects guys. Let's talk about the display. I've told you right, MSI's thin GF63 packs a 15.6 inches, full HD 1080p, 144Hz IPS level display. And if you'd ask me, display quality is like decent for the price point. You're getting like good amount of detail guys, no matter what sort of content you're watching, either it be like media, entertainment, or even gaming, right? Since it has like a full HD 1080p panel, everything is like crisp and clear especially text on websites is like easily readable and there's like great clarity and coming to colors first of all keep in mind that it does come with an IPS panel but has a bit of limited color gamut range of only around 45% NTSC guys so it's not the most colorful looking display but again as I've told you it's an affordable 40 series laptop so there is nothing much you can expect over here I've watched variety of content videos on YouTube web series movies and had an okay sort of experience see it's good for day-to-day -day casual sort of usage, browsing the web, general media consumption and things like that. But if you're like a professional content creator or maybe you're using this for productivity sake, then it might not be that suitable. Contrast levels, black levels, everything were fine and brightness of the display was also like pretty good guys. It's actually one of the brightest displays I've seen in this price point and the display can go up to like 280, 290 nits of brightness and I had no issues using this display even in like bright lighting situations. Viewing angles of the laptop were also nice picture looked the same no matter from which angle you were viewing and best part about this model is as i've told you it's got like a really high 144 hertz refresh rate guys and everything just glides on the panel over here so this is like a great display especially if you're a gamer guys we'll anyhow come there and talk about the gaming performance in a moment but before we jump into that let me also tell you about the speaker quality as well on board you're getting like stereo speakers tuned by Nahimi audio and you're actually getting like four watts of output guys two watt each and audio quality definitely you know surprised me it was producing crisp and clear sound and i actually had a fun time watching youtube videos or movies or even while gaming session guys you will definitely be satisfied with the audio experience you are getting on the msi thin gf63 even the output also loud and sufficient than most of the competitive laptops in this price point know right we do a lot of gaming pc build videos on the channel almost every week you get to see something interesting lately i've been getting a lot of comments from you people audience asking like Vimal, why can you make like a separate video 
All right, I know you people have been waiting for this part, so let's get into the performance. Our MSI Thin GF63 is powered by Intel's 12th Gen i7-12650H, which is a 10-core 16-thread CPU based on Alder Lake platform and features a performance hybrid architecture. So out of those 10 cores, you're getting 6 performance cores and 4 efficient cores with a max turbo clock of up to 4.7 GHz and pair that with Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4050 mobile GPU with 6 GB GDDR6 memory, have in a TG of 45 watt, it's a really good performing machine. Day to day tasks like browsing the web with a dozen edge tabs open in the background, doing your regular office related jobs, or either it be programming, coding, all of these run like muska on this system, no sweat at all. I've run a couple of benchmarks as well, like Geekbench and also Cinebench. Just have a look at these scores. Finally, jumping onto the gaming section, to show you what the GF63 can do, we will be playing a couple of AAA title games both with and without ray tracing and see how it performs. Starting off with Spider-Man Remastered on PC. We are playing this game currently at 1080p resolution, very high graphics and both ray tracing and DLSS are off right now in this first test. And for your info, the system profile on the laptop is set to extreme performance mode. And as you can see in the video, we were easily getting an average of around 65 to 70 FPS in sort of settings. Buttery smooth gaming guys, muska 1080p ultra performance. Faced no sorts of lags or any kind of dip in performance while trying out these games. Thin GF63 actually features a 45W TGP variant of the 4050, which is an efficient variant made for these sort of thin and compact form factor laptops. It's mainly made to offer a consistent 1080p 60fps gaming even at very high graphics settings. And not just this particular game, I've also tested a couple of other titles as well, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Forza Horizon 5 and GTA 5 also and here are the results. In Assassin's Creed we were getting an average of around 55 to 60 FPS at 1080p very high and Forza was easily hitting around 80-85 FPS. Even look at GTA 5 gaming over here. At 1080p maximum ultra graphics we were getting an average of around 100 FPS guys and don't even ask about eSport titles like Valorant. Easily triple digit gaming you can do. Let's also check out RT and DLSS performance. Right now we're playing Spider-Man, right? Let's quickly enable ray tracing and check out the difference. You people know, right? Ray tracing puts a lot of load on the GPU and can be stressful to even run on high-end systems sometimes. Here at 1080p very high graphics and ray tracing also enabled set to high, we were getting an average of around 38 to 40 FPS. But that is where DLSS 3.0 and frame generation come into play on the new RTX 40 series GPUs. This is something you don't get on the previous gen RTX 30 series GPUs. So definitely keep this point in mind. Enabling DLSS greatly improves the frame rate. It's basically like an upscaling technology. So with the DLSS enabled and set to balanced profile mode, the same game with the ray tracing was running at an improved frame rate of around 55 to 60 FPS. That's the magic I was talking about guys. Even with ray tracing enabled, DLSS lets you play the game at a consistent 60 FPS results. Overall gaming experience has been really good on this model and quite satisfactory I would say. And one more thing I have to mention over here is, MSI has done a great job with the thermal design on this model. Even after long gaming sessions, the CPU is only running around like 75 to 78 degrees centigrade, even without an external cooling pad used. And fan noise levels were also minimum and under control. We're almost coming to an end, so let me tell you about the battery life as well. GF63 packs a 3-cell 52.4 watt hour battery, and just like most of the other gaming laptops, right, battery life was kind of mediocre, I can say. With the brightness set to around 50%, casual web browsing, checking out your mails, doing a bit of office work and a bit of YouTube videos as well, I managed to squeeze around 5.5 to 6 hours of battery life on this variant. Well, that is pretty much it. Our detailed video on MSI's all new Thin GF63 gaming laptop. Really good looking laptop, love the black and red sporty vibe, great gaming performance at an affordable price. Only thing I wish it had was a slightly better looking display with up to 100% sRGB color gamut range. Rest everything else was fine. As I've told you, pricing of this laptop for the 4050 variant starts at only around 77,990 rupees in the Indian market and goes up depending on the configuration. I'll leave links for that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got full information about the product. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.